हरे राम 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 हरे हरे कृष्ण वरण कृष्ण कृष्ण हरे शंभो पांगुष्ट परशनम यज्ञाय संतिहान ध्यान यशुति यशु मनुष्य काले काले नाम रूप कृष्ण अवतार Но он привлекся к вишнавской традиции и стал искренне преданным. Конечно, мы не думаем, что он родился в мусульманской семье, потому что он является вечной освобожденной душой. But to demonstrate the potency of chanting Hare Krishna, how it can elevate one from any stage of life, from tamas through rajas through sattva, um, Mahaprabhu arranged this pastime. It's, it appeared he took birth in a low family, but he became a great Vaishnava. Но для того, чтобы продемонстрировать могущество святого имени, Господь Читания организовал так, что он родился в адийской семье, и благодаря могуществу святого имени он стал вешнамом. Give a vipa, give a niyase. Say, huh? Whether one's a tiyagi living in the forest or one's a householder embracing home life, if that person has within his heart the desire to serve Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, We take the dust of that devotee's feet upon our head. And his bell metal can be changed into gold by a mystical process. In the same way, a low-born person can be um, become a elevated Brahmana Vaishnava through proper diksha or initiation into the chanting of Hare Krishna. Точно так же, как, э, как колокольный металл может превратиться в э, ценный металл, то же самое. Низкорожденная личность может стать возвышенной благодаря повторению святых имен. Sometimes she present an argument to someone and they say, okay, prove it. Иногда вы кому-то доказываете что-то и вам говорят, ну-ка докажи. Prove it. Докажи. So what's the proof that a low-born person could become an elevated Brahman Vaishnava? Look in the mirror. See? You look in the mirror. So, Haridas Thakur is a very important example for all of us. Yeah. This is also the buckle. Huh? Which size do you want? Hari Hara. For you. Yeah. Happy with us? You want bigger? What are you used to? Let me see this. What is what attracts your mind? Whatever you choose for me. You have independence. Huh? The big ones. Yeah, these are so cool. <laughs> you just, they're not big, big, they're not like this. But you can get a bigger bee bag and chant, you know. Where, uh, this tree, a branch fell off in, 19, in 2019. 
and the sadhus kept it in there, and they made beads like this. So you won't get beads like this anywhere in the universe. Daru Brahman. So special. And these are for your... Sanjeevani. Haridas Sakur, when he would, he couldn't enter the temple because of his past. They wouldn't let him into the temple. So when he was in Puri, he stayed here. But there was no buildings, there was no trees, it was just like, just dirt. And he, he was so detached, he just sat in the sun and chanted all day. And uh, one day, one day Chaitanya Mahaprabhu heard how he was sitting here. So Mahaprabhu went to the temple and got some... Uh, Jagannath had just finished his uh, prasadam and there was one toothpick, you know, for your teeth. He took this toothpick and he brought it back here and he planted it in the ground behind Haridash Thakur, and that toothpick grew into Bakul tree. And Haridash Thakur would chant under that tree every day, 192 rounds a day. <coughs> now, if you hear the chanting from a Mahabhagavat, pure devotee of the Lord, what happens? Chaito Dharmana Marjana. All the impurities, they're washed away. And then material desires are ripped up and thrown to a distant place, and then there's prem. You keep watering the sea, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna. Then the prem comes. This tree heard the chanting. It's a living entity. It heard the chanting of Hari Dash Thakur for you know, decades and decades and decades. So it's called Siddha Baku, the liberated tree. There's only one in the whole world, in the whole creation, Siddha Baku. Only one tree like this. Eternally liberated. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, it's very nice that all the human beings will get liberated by Harinam, but what about the immovable living entities? Those lower species like plants and trees and bushes and creepers. How will they get delivered? It's like, what? You have to be a human being. Not according to Mahaprabhu. <laughs> He asked Haridas, so how will these immovable, the roots? So Haridas, of course, said, by the loud chanting, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, and Haridas Thakur would chant very loudly under this tree. So no, who can deny this tree is not Siddha Bhakti, who witnessed the past life. In 1975, I took some beads from the, you know, sometimes the branches break and the sadhus make. I took some beads to Puri Maharaj and Gauri Maharaj. I said, he, he paid obeisances. He saw the beads, he paid full dandavats to the beads in my hand. 
And he sat up and he said, Daru Brahman, Daru Brahman, the Lord in wood. Daru Brahman, the Lord in wood. Hardash Thakur, he would chant 300,000 names a day. 100,000 silently in his mind. 100,000 very uh, softly. 100,000 names a day at the top of his voice as, as he would he would just scream I don't want to do here but Hare Krishna like that 100,000 100,000 100, this is Hare Krishna so this is my favorite place in Jagannath Puri if we only came one place and we never left, this is the place I would come. Because Srinam Prabhu is the Yuga Dharma. Kaviraj Goswami Chaitanya Charitamrita Kali Kali Namurup Krishna Avatar. The avatar for this age is Srinam Hare Krishna Mahatma. Uh, Maha mantra means that uh, one gains from this one mantra what one gains from all mantras, but most important, one gets what? Krishna Prem. So we have uh, Mayapur and we have Yogipit, where Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's um, birthplace, Jagannath Misha, Sachimata. You could say that's the home of the Sankirtan movement. But for me, this is where my heart is, because Haridash Thakur, he was a preacher. He not only chanted Hare Krishna, but he gave the Maha Mantra to others. This is the Vaishnava. He's um, sad to see people bereft of Krishna consciousness, and his only happiness is to see other people take up the chanting of Hare Krishna. He has no personal interest. That was the mood of Haridas Thakur and Lord Nityananda. Mahaprabhu, he preached to the intelligentsia, you know, Ramananda Rai and the um, Sarvabhoma Bhattacharya, but Nitai and Haridas, they went door to door and they delivered Jagai Madhai. Sometimes one thinks, oh, this Sankirtan, going out, meeting these people, it's so difficult. But Lord Nityananda, he was considering it ecstasy, executing the mercy, the order of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he, he would often go into ecstasy, Nitai, by going door to door. The, the, he would knock on the door and the father would send the daughters to open up and then Nitai would go in the mood of Balaram and he'd say, you want to dance with me? <laughs> Haridas Thakur said, Nitai, <laughs> that's not your role now. Then we were Balaram, but now we have to preach. So he, Nitai would go, okay. He'd say, chant Hare Krishna. And the householder would say, no, I won't chant Hare Krishna. So Nitai would fall on the ground. He'd roll around their house, breaking all the furniture. I won't stop rolling until you start chanting Hare Krishna. Okay, Hare Krishna. Nitai. 
Господин лейтенант сказал, что откуда приходили в дом домохозяева, и домохозяин посылал дочь, и господин лейтенант видел, он на строение Валарам приходил и говорил, давай танцевать с тобой. И Харидат Кукур его останавливал, говорит, нет, ты пришел в Украину ведь я нам бы. И тогда он просил, чтобы Масяева повторяли все племена, и говорили, нет, не будем. И без почитания лейтенанта катался и говорил, я не остановлюсь, пока вы не начнете повторять. И они повторяли Харидат Кукур. So they go back and report to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu the breaching activity in Haridas was, he was always complaining, this Nitai just goes into Bhav, he goes into ecstasy. <laughs> so then Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he revealed his desire that the whole world hear this Mahamantra, not just the people of Bharat. The people of Bengal, the people of Arisa, Vrindavan, the whole world. Because Krishna says in Gita, he is the seed-giving father of all living entities. It means everyone is Krishna Bhakta. Everyone, even the cockroach, he's Krishna Bhakta. But Bhagal, he's forgotten. So the whole world has to hear this mantra. But the potency is coming from this tree. Try to see in a deeper sense. The potency for spreading Harinam is coming from this tree. It's coming from Haridash Thakur. Because he was Namacharya. He was the best example of chanting Hare Krishna. Therefore, Mahaprabhu, uh, he said that uh, those who take birth in India, Bharat, they're the most pious people in creation, more than Shvargalok. They're the most pious persons, but having taken birth here, they have a responsibility to become Krishna conscious, and then give Krishna consciousness. Namruchi, Jivadaya, huh? no, three things. You have to develop taste for the holy name and compassion for the fallen conditioned souls. What's the third? Vaishnav Seva. Vaishnav Seva, Namruchi, Jivadaya. Haridash Thakur, the Acharya, he shows us Namruchi every day, 192 rounds. <laughs> Vaishnava Seva, he is the humble servant of Rupa and Sanatana Goswami. And Jivadoya, he's, he's concerned. He, yeah, he told Mahaprabhu, everyone can get liberated by chanting Hare Krishna. So for me, this is my heart. I left, people say, I left my heart in New York. I left my heart in, in Paris, you idiot. We leave our hearts here. Like, you see people putting these little things? They're hanging there. They're, they're asking for some benediction. So we're leaving our heart here. And what is the benediction? We don't want anything material. We only want seva, and by seva we get bhakti. So just look how idyllic this place is. Look how nice it is. Even from material vision. The cows are licking each other. <laughs> the cooking is going on for Takurji. And the sadhus, 
who live here. Sarusanga Sarusanga Sava Shusta Koi Lava Matra Sarusanga Sava Shudi Hoi Lava Matra. Even one minute association with a Mahatma like this, then you begin perfection. He's so humble, he's listening to me. <laughs> Who am I? I was born in Yavanadesh, Malachadesh. He's born in Bharat, probably in Odisha or, or Bengal, but he's sitting and listening because he relishes the kata, the Gora kata, Nitai kata, Jagannath kata, and Nam kata. We go to some places and they kick us out. Here they embrace us. Yeah, but name, I am there. <laughs> 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 